Wow. Bob is hot in the Himalayas. Hmm. He invites me inside. It's dark, dim. Must be about, well, 10 feet, 3 meters square. Some firewood along the edges of the walls and fire in the center of his hut, which vents out from above. He sits on a leopard skin, mm -hmm. under which his guru is buried. Mm. He's got a trident. He's a Naga Baba. They're not big on wearing clothes or being conventional. They gather by the millions at the Kumbh Melas on the Ganges River. Mm -hmm. Well, what's he got in here? Oh, there's a calendar, carved web calendar with Mahatma Gandhi's picture on it. The day you. <laughs> 30 years out of date. Mm -hmm. Himalayan time. Mm -hmm. Oh, metal trident. Sticks in the ashes of his fire. Oh, a mortar and pesto. Mm -hmm. Grind his chilies and well, he makes chapatis. He's got some flour. Um, he deeply impresses me. Well, uh, he's happy to chat with, in English with, with me. So I tell him about being in the monastery, and, ooh, which causes him to frown because he tells me that he was trapped in a life-threatening snowstorm some years ago and had to knock on the door of a Tibetan temple to save his life, and they refused him entry. Yeah. Reminds me of getting swept off the steps at Goom Monastery back in Darjeeling. Hmm. He has a small oil lamp, just enough to be able to faintly see each other. A kind of little lamp like they heat opium with in Bombay and so on. Mm -hmm. Walls are sooty from the smoke. Mm-hmm. Well, as he tells me his stories, his face glows in astral green, the astral green of a truth teller, sage. Mm -hmm. And I'm not stoned on anything. This is just like, oh. <gasps> oh okay. You know what? My higher spirit files this situation away for another time. But I got to go. Thank the yogi. Thanks, Nagababa, for the shelter and for, you know, hanging out with the real yogi. Rare. Mm -hmm. Well, I got to go because uh, I got to get the trees back to Chitre Monastery or they'll die. Mm -hmm. So, uh, up by the bundle, uh, chit chat and th sign language, some uh, transport animals, just time yaks, and off I go. We make a deal. My Nepali is getting pretty good. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, the scenery, uh, you know, I mean, all this time, most of the time, it's like walking on these ridge lines, these millennial. <laughs> path ridge lines and uh it's a uh, 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 jaw dropping you know because you can see all the way down like 50 miles you know to the flatlands of india and you look along the edge of the himalayas and you see gushing thunderous rivers crashing out of the mountains onto the flatlands of india onto the plains it's like, what? And from the uh, Shandakpu saddle, which is 12,000 feet, 3,600 meters. Uh, unbelievable. 
you see the world's four tallest mountains in one glance. That's right. Kachanjunga, Makalu, Lotse, and Mount Everest. <laughs> like to give you a chance to show off once in a while. And all these four mountains are laid out in the form of a sleeping, the sleeping Buddha on his back. Or if you like to visualize, it could be Kuan Yin on her back with a couple of 20,000 footers for what of you, divine. Mm -hmm. How lucky am I? Oh my God. Well, after 15 kilometers with the axe, you're so strong. <laughs> uh, we come to Itabury. You know, this, this place is so big. It's got a chai shop for traveling natives. And I'm about as native as I'll ever get. So in, into the chai shop. Uh, bundled trees come down. This is the end of the road for this party of Nepalis. Namaste, namaste. <laughs> So um, yeah, I'm in the chai shop and yakety yak a little bit, showing off my little bit of Nepali. And yeah, I I get a shock because they like, look uh, passport because you know it's the other end of uh, Parshipalinath, which is the town we're in right now. You walk a, another minute up the road, you're going to be uh, uh, dealing with uh, Indian border police. <laughs> Yeah, and my passport, as I've said, <clears throat> you know, when you're an artist, you need paper. And if the only paper you got is your passport, what are you going to do? Stunt your creativity? Oh. 